Hi, I'm Renato Lopez, and I'm here at the American College of Cardiology meeting in New Orleans, 2019. And I have the pleasure, the pleasure to present the results of the Augustus trial. Uh, the optimal antithrombotic therapy in patients with atrial fibrillation who also had an acute coronary syndrome or undergo percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, is not known. So we want to, in the Augustus trial, to answer two questions. We wanted to assess the safety of a Pixaban versus VKA for major or clinically relevant non-major bleeding according to the ISTH scale. And we also wanted to assess the role of aspirin. How safe or not safe is aspirin in these regimens? So to answer these two questions in a single trial, we needed to conduct a two by two factorial design trial. So basically we randomized around 4,600 patients who had to have atrial fibrillation where oral anticoagulation therapy was indicated, and acute coronary syndrome or PCI where we had a planned use of a PTY12 inhibitor for at least six months. So those were basically the inclusion criteria. And then we randomized patients to receive a Pixaban, five milligrams twice daily, which is the dose that is approved for stroke prevention in atrial fibrillation or VKA targeting an INR between two and three. And after that, we also randomized as a second part of the factorial design to aspirin or placebo. And we have a hierarchical testing for those two comparisons. First, we look at bleeding. If we met that endpoint, then we look at death or hospitalization. And if we met that endpoint, then we look at death or ischemic events. So starting with the apixaban and VKA comparison, we show that patients receiving apixaban had much less bleeding events than patients receiving VKA. Apixaban actually reduced the risk of bleeding by 31%, highly statistically significant, both for non-inferiority and for superiority. Going to the second endpoint now, death or hospitalization, we also found that apixaban reduced the risk of death or hospitalization by 17% compared to VKA, and this was primarily driven by a reduction in hospitalization. And finally, looking at death or ischemic events, we did not find any difference in the rates of death or ischemic events, including myocardial infarction, stroke, stent thrombosis, and urgent revascularization between apixaban and VKA. But we did find uh, a lower rate of stroke among patients treated with apixaban compared to patients treated with VKA. So those were the main results related to the first comparison, the first part of the trial. The second part of the trial, which was the aspirin, we showed that aspirin increased the risk of bleeding by 89% compared to placebo. So if we flip that around, avoiding aspirin actually led to a reduction in bleeding by 47% in the relative risk of bleeding. Then when we look at death or hospitalization, there was no difference between aspirin or placebo in the rates of death or hospitalization. And when you look at death or ischemic events, we also did not find any significant difference between aspirin and placebo uh, in the outcomes of death or ischemic events. So those were our key findings uh, of the trial. Putting that in perspective, I think that our trial can answer that in patients with atrial fibrillation and also a recent acute coronary syndrome or PCI, a regimen that includes a Pixaban without aspirin on a background of a PTY12 inhibitor reduce bleeding and cause fewer hospitalizations than regimens that include a VKA or aspirin or both. And in terms of clinical implication, I think our trial does not resolve all the possible clinical scenarios that we have nowadays. There are multiple antithrombotic regimens that can be tested or used, but I think our trial add an important piece to this puzzle and uh, show that maybe in this setting less might be more. In other words, a regimen that includes 
Apixaban and Clopidogrel without aspirin had the lowest rates of bleeding complications without any increase in ischemic events, which was one, was one of the concerns that physicians might have when dropping aspirin. So for most patients, uh, I think our trial helps with the decision-making process by showing that if we use apixaban plus clopidogrel, we will have the lowest rate of bleeding complications without a price, a price to pay in terms of increase in ischemic events.